girls, I am here for my 14 week pregnancy vlog. I know that I was going to get this up a little bit earlier today. But I haven't been feeling good the last couple days. I've just been feeling really run down and just really tired, kind of like I'm coming down with something, but I honestly think it's just pregnancy and allergies. I wanted to get this video up because I do have a lot to share with you guys. I had my um, first OB appointment here in Arizona um, last Friday and um, that went really well. I did get a referral to a high risk, um, a high risk doctor or um, MFM or maternal fetal medicine doctor, whatever you want to call them. I think they're also called periodontologists. I'm going to be seeing them is because I do have incompetent cervix and I do have the transdominal cerclage. So they, depending on um, what he thinks, I might be getting cervical checks. Um, I know that there has been some controversy on that with having the check done. From my experience and just for my own peace of mind, I feel like I would want to have cervical link checks and just to, you know, get, you know, regular ultrasounds done like with what I did with Dallas. Um, just so that I can have the peace of mind in case something does go wrong that they are able to catch it right away and hopefully prevent anything from happening. Um, with that being said, I've had felt a little bit of pressure this last these last couple of days and I also think that's probably why I'm not feeling very well. Um, it's nothing super uncomfortable. Um, it's just mostly in like my back and my pelvic area. I honestly think it's just the stretching that's happening. I felt a lot of round leg, round leg mitt pain. Um, which I expected to because my belly is starting to um, pop out a little bit and um, become rounder. That being said, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and talk about the baby now. Um, the baby is the size of a peach. Length is 3.42 inches. It's pretty big considering um, from last week, so that's really cool. Weight is 1.52 ounces. Langu, I think it's called the Langu hair, Langu. I don't know if I'm saying that. It's just basically like the little fuzzy coating that coats the baby. So that makes me really happy that the baby is definitely growing. Um, I did hear, hear the baby's heartbeat on the fetal doctor at the doctor's office, and I believe it was 179. Um, the baby's heart rate usually averages, even on my home Doppler that I have, um, it averages about 179 to 165. Probably higher than Dallas. Dallas was always in the 140s or mid 150s. You are going to be finding out the gender this Saturday at 3 o'clock. So I'm really sorry about that guys. This thing decided to break off my tripod so now I gotta figure out how to fix this. If I can even fix it. I might just try to super glue it or something. <sighs> but anyways. As I was saying so I'm just we're really excited to be finding out the gender. Um, I will be announcing it to you guys hopefully Monday following um, the ultrasound. So like I said, we'll be finding out Saturday the 13th and then I will be hosting a online um, gender reveal party with my family and friends and then following that on Monday the 15th, I will be doing a gender reveal video for all of you guys. With that, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm sorry that this video is all over the place and again for my stupid tripod breaking. Um, I'm definitely going to have to fix that today. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the belly. I did bare belly and covered. Um, I probably won't do bare belly every single time just because I am a little bit self-conscious. Um, but I thought I would try it this time. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys for the gender reveal and my 15 week update. Alright, bye.